it's time for another hotel review, but this one's going to be a little bit different. Monkey Mire is about 860 kilometres north of Perth and is a popular destination for winter holidays and is well known for its dolphin feeding. The resort covers every type of accommodation from tents, caravans and backpackers to cabins by the sea and family studios. This review will cover the garden view rooms, although I'll be staying in a wheelchair friendly room, but it's basically the same inside. As you enter, you have a large bedroom, and the ensuite is off to one side, although this room has an extra single bed as well. The bathroom is pretty standard with room to move, which is needed for a wheelchair. The lack of cupboard space to put your stuff on in the morning was a bit of a nuisance, till I remembered it's because of the wheelchair. A cupboard would have been in the way. On the other side of the bathroom wall is a small kitchen, with a small fridge and tea and coffee facilities. The other door leads into the room next door, if you were travelling with someone else, or if you wanted to have the kids in another room. If you've seen any of my other reviews, you will know I love a place where you can get your bag up off the floor. Although I'm not sure how many people could get their bags up this high, and someone in a wheelchair probably wouldn't be able to see in the bag even if they could get it up there. Each room has some local reading material, and there is also an in-house TV channel to give you some ideas of what to do. Now to be honest, I'm not real wrapped in these blinds. They look nice, but being set back off the window, I'm always worried somebody could see in as they walk by. And when the sun comes up at 5am, as you can see, the light comes in too. And I'm not sure what to make of the curtains on the door. Now I don't recall this being an issue for other rooms. As for the facilities, there are two places where you can get a feed. There's the main restaurant, the Bow Shed, and whether you sit inside or outside in the fresh air, you really can't go wrong. And the other place is the Monkey Bar. It's a bit more casual and laid back, but you can get a good feed from here as well. There is a little shop where you can buy basic stuff like drinks and munchies. But remember, you are a long way from anywhere and everything has to be trucked in. And this is the only place in Monkey Mire, so they can charge pretty much anything they like. So expect things to cost a little more. So what's there to do? Well, everybody knows about the dolphins. After all, that's probably why you came here or try a hand at canoeing. Or riding one of these paddle boats. There's fishing. Or even camel rides. Or just go for a walk along the beach and see what you can spot. And don't forget, it's a great place to just sit on the beach and do absolutely nothing. If the locals can, so can you. If that sounds like a little too much work, then slow it down with a game of chess. Or just find yourself a seat on the lawn and just do nothing. And not to forget, 
go for a swim. You can take a boat cruise during the day or do a sunset cruise. It's a great place to be to see the end of the day. So what do I think? Anyway, that's it for this review. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook at On The Road With John. Till next time, happy travels.